This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder is brought to you by MTGOTraders.com, the official trading bot service of the Rogue Deck Builder. For huge selection and lowest prices around on Magic the Gathering online cards, visit MTGOTraders.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com with match number four with our Vampires in Popper, brought to you by MTGOTraders.com. Yes, we're going to keep this hand. It's not the greatest hand ever, but it's not bad either. Uh, we have double Vampiric Fury. And now we actually have enough vampires to make it worthwhile. So I'm just going to start off with the Pulse Tracker. Which is our strongest one is a 1-1. A one, one. That I mean this is the reason I went vampires is really because of Pulse Tracker. I love how this card can just get in for some damage. So it's going to usually get in for like at least three before it's a lot, oftentimes traded with. The Vampiric Fury is going to give us a little more. I'd actually like to just draw into a basic. No, no, no. We want to play the Bloodfell Caves. Absolutely. So not sure what I'm up against. Terramorphic Expanse means it's not going to be some sort of mono blue Delver. I think it's probably blue, blue, black Delve. They want these cards in the graveyard uh, to get out there early. Anglers. So we'll go Blood Fill Caves. And put on a, another Pulse Tracker. And then attack in. And he'll lose two here. Okay, green. So it might be a, a, a Delve deck with... Hooting Mandrels, which he can cast here. Compulsive Research. He's going to be taking a lot of life here. We'd actually get in for a Vampiric Fury, but I think it's a lot better just to get in. I hope I draw land. Land would be ideal. That way we can quag Vampires. Eh. It's a Rakdos Gilgate, so I think the best case scenario here is just to probably, uh, no, we want to attack in with the, both the Pulse Trackers. And then use Morsel Theft. Okay, and we missed the land drop, but... Um, or at least I wanted an untapped land so we could throw out another vampire. But we're looking really good here. He's got plenty of cards in the graveyard. If it is some sort of Dell strategy. I mean, he's really gone through his deck searching for whatever he needs. I don't know. You got to think Moldrifter's in here. Moldrifter slash Hooting Mandrill still seems like the, the card, but he didn't play anything else, so there could be... Here's what we're just going to triple Vampire. What if he has a Fog Effect? Uh, yeah, okay, so it's a fog effect. It must be some sort of turbo fog, which we're going to have a good matchup for because eventually we can just get through with the... Um... burn spells that we eventually draw into. So, we'll do this vampire. And this vampire. And we'll do one more vampire.
Yep, it is a Turbo Fog with Jace Erasure. I have seen this deck before. There's one of our cards that can actually get through. We will attack in with, I think just him and him because it's lethal. We'll keep the Quag Vampires back. We want to hit with at least one, making force if he goes another tangle. Actually, that isn't lethal. Why was he thinking that was lethal? Oh, yeah, because Morsel Theft. So, Moments Peace. Don't need to use the Morsel Theft quite yet. If he's finding me bumping the nice with Jace Erasure, that's also nice. Just a Swamp. He still needs ways to, to draw multiple cards per turn. So I'm only going to swing in for what's lethal each turn. And he'll flash it back, okay. And we'll throw out another Vampire Lacerator. So you got to think dispels and counter spells or negates are in his hand as well. They've got it. He's got to be able to counter. So the longer this game goes on, the worse if he can just continue to draw the answers he needs. But eventually he's going to get runs of lands, and we should get an opening. Okay, so he's going to Arcane Denial it. Probably not the right use of that card, because he can fog me out. So I get to draw uh, two cards, and my opponent gets to draw one. So I, he mills me here. Uh, just gets a Bloodfell Caves. And I get a Tyrant's Choice, so that's perfect. And he mills me again. With the shout out, Ali Denizen. Brainstorm mills me three. And See if he gets any bumps in the graveyard. Nope. Bunch of stuff I don't care about. Ooh, that is rough. So I mill another five with the Tolarian Winds. So he's got to get a JC Razor out. And he's, he's probably left up a Tangle. Still no bump in the night in the graveyard. And he'll brainstorm again and just leave like a fog left in his hand. So I think that we're just going to win next turn. Because uh, we do have the... Ooh, not quite. I don't have the mana to quite push through. There's a bump. All right, now we should be okay. Uh, 
Ugh. That is annoying. Respite. Puts him back up to an 8. So it just kind of negated what happened. And I think we will use Morsel Theft and Bump. Puts him down to a 2, which means that Getting very lethal here with a number of cards. But can he mill me 28 in one turn? Not quite sure that's going to be possible. He's used two brainstorms, one Talarian wins. He's got some deep analysis, but he can't flash them back. He doesn't have the life for them. Not a lot of cards I can bring in from my sideboard. I might just take out these vampiric. Uh, the pristine talisman's annoying. Gains him a life. There's his third brainstorm. And he doesn't have, did not find another fog effect. Alright, so we take that one down. And I have nothing. I have maybe choking sands, which... Yeah. I guess Shogun Sand just comes in because it's another thing I can I can use to, to do direct damage to him. And these Vampiric Furies need to come out, but I think that's it. That's the only thing I can really take out, unfortunately. The Verdicts, he I didn't see any creatures, so Electricries and whatnot. Um, again, there's better ways to build this deck. I think I shouldn't have gone all out. Either all, I should have gone all out on the vamp Vampire Tribal and cut these uh, Burn Spells, or I should have gone all out on... Um, like the black red portion of the burn because you can get some pretty cool cards still really highly anticipating madness from the Innistrad we get a lot of awesome madness cards and burning inquiry is legal in in popper so there's a lot of just insane stuff we're going to be able to do with with burning inquiry and what were some other ones I used to be using there's a tormenting there's an enchantment you can discard stuff uh, to get back creatures. So anyway, and tormenting voice is legal. There's and faithless looting. Yeah, there's tons of madness enablers. We'll go ahead and submit this. So I'm excited. We may actually win a game. Would have been very disappointed to get our opponent down to yet again like two. Again, with the right uh, lineup, if I wouldn't have like kind of half and half this deck, I think that a lot of those matchups earlier we could have finished them off. The Delver matches were very close. Putin also has to be a little bit aware of his time clock. He's down to 16 minutes playing one game, so that was a good uh, nine minutes. So if this is another nine-minute game and he beats me, he'll be down to under, and that's going to be really hard for a Fog deck to... Uh, yeah. So this, if you're playing on any stall decks on MT Joe, definitely be aware of your, kind of your chess clock, your time clock. So I'm just going to go with a... Lacerator, actually, I think. Yeah, Lacerator is fine. They both push out very similar damage. So Choking Sands will be fun. I'll be able to destroy a, uh, a green source, hopefully. So he's down to an 18, and we'll put out double vampires. See, I want that one to get countered over the pulse tracker. Yeah, perfect. Because the pulse tracker can at least push through damage. And yes, I'd like to draw two cards. Which finds me some more decent little one drops and two drops. 
He still doesn't have a green source quite yet. Uh, there's his Jace's Erasure. And he can brainstorm here and mill me. But that allows me to get in for... Four damage. And we'll probably Morsel Theft. Because I guarantee he's going to find a green source. So I want to get in the Morsel Theft while I can. And unfortunately, we don't hit another untapped land. So I'm going to get milled here once again. Doesn't hit another land. He needs to start fogging. If he puts out a green source, we will kill with the choking sand. So it's a pristine talisman. The card's very annoying. Yeah, that's a perfect card for us to kill. He is not going to be happy with us choking Sansing. All right, that worked out perfect. Basically set him back another turn with killing his, or making him bounce a land. He does have the pristine talisman. Brainstorm's gonna mill me like crazy. And he'll have possibly three mana open. He's got to go for the fog effects at this point. Another preordain. So he's got to what, hit a tangle and a... No green source. Or if he has like a gush. But we have we have um the morsel theft and a bump. Alright, not bad. We uh take out the fog deck. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.